What's up, everybody? My name is Sean Jones. I'm the instructor for this class. This is Human Body Systems Part 2. Hopefully, you've all taken Part 1. Um, in this class, we're just going to cover the rest of the human body systems. Um, we'll have a full list of that in the syllabus, which I'll show you how to get to. Um, so really, the, the purpose of this video is just to do like sort of an overview, uh, let you see who I am. Um, I'm going to get to see who you all are in your introduction posts. And I here, I want to show you the Moodle page. So. Uh, you should all have access to this. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So you should have a Moodle page that looks something like this. I'm in the student's view right now, so you should see this. Um, you can have a quick link to the syllabus here. Otherwise, the syllabus is here. Um, this is just a little blurb in the beginning, which is like basically every week, just read the textbook chapters. Um, there's some video lectures that I posted of me yapping away. You do not have to watch those. Those are totally optional. Um, those are like little PowerPoint presentations that I put together that sort of help add some more clarity to stuff that sometimes people have a hard time understanding. But those are totally not those are totally not um, required. Um, I've had plenty of students pass these classes with A's and never watch those videos. So they've said so. It's all good. Um, the next thing is check your understanding with these guided notes. These are like these um, PDF kind of like um, study guides that I created with some colleagues years ago. And they go hand in hand with your chapters. As you're reading, you can fill these out. These are also optional. Do not turn these into me. Uh, if you have questions about them, feel free to email me and ask. But these are totally just for you to kind of use as a study guide. And just FYI, when I create the quizzes and the exams, that content cover is covered by those study guides because those study guides are made up right with the um, the textbook chapters. So, you know, reading the chapters, doing this guided notes has seemed to help a lot of people out preparing for the exams and for the quizzes. Um, and then when I say quiz and exam, that's what you've got. For every week, you've got a quiz. And about every other week, you've got a unit exam. So I've basically got the different body systems broken up into units, which you'll see later on. Like the respiratory system is a unit. Um, urinary system would be a unit. Um, rather than saying a chapter, because sometimes it incorporates a couple different chapters, but I'll show you more of that later. Um, so as we move on here, the news and announcements forum, anytime that I want to send a message to the class, I'm just going to go here and I'll add a new post and it'll email all of you. If you hate getting emails from me, you can unsubscribe, but I highly uh, discourage that. Otherwise, you might miss out on an important email from me. So the syllabus is here. Um, and then after you've read the syllabus, which is super important, there's a quiz. It's pretty straightforward. It's just stuff from the syllabus. It ensures that you have read it so you understand what I expect in this class. And which something is pretty cool, I think Moodle just started doing it with Moodle 4.0 as we just upgraded, is now it shows when things open and close. So you can see this thing, the syllabus quiz, is already open right now, but it closes Friday, April 5th at 5 p.m. Now, as it says in the syllabus, and we'll open that up right after this, is you have to do that. You have to do the syllabus quiz to show you that you were in attendance during the first week of class. If you don't, we have to have a stern talk and you might get dropped from the class. Um, especially if you have financial aid, you have to show that you're in class. If you do not, you are gonna lose your financial aid for this too. So um, this is basically the weekly what it looks like for all the different units in this class. Um, there's an introduction post and a disease report that we'll talk about sort of at the end of this presentation, but every week is gonna sort of look the same, okay? So let's go to the syllabus here. And I've already clicked on it and opened up a new window right here. All right, so here's me. Here's where's my office, uh, office hours. You can email me and set up an appointment if you want to Zoom or come in and chat with me. I'm in, um, see, I'm in building five, room 237. And I suggest that you read all this stuff. It's like the basic syllabus stuff. Like, what is this course trying to teach you? How are we going to do it? One thing that's cool here is the textbook. There's no textbook you have to buy. It's a totally free online textbook that I love. And all of the readings are right there in Moodle. You can also download the whole thing as a PDF and print it. I've had students print it for as little as like 40 or 50 bucks if they want a hard copy of a book. 
if that's something you're interested in, email me and I can send you a couple links to what some students have done in the past. Some of the methods. This is going to be important, I think, for the syllabus quiz, knowing these things. Things like, what are the instructional methods? How am I going to be teaching you or how are you going to be learning this term? And then evaluation methods are, what, how am I going to figure out whether or not you have actually learned what I wanted you to learn? Okay. This shows you, like, for instance, how many points each assignment is and what kind of assignments there are, like, you know, the quizzes. These are 10 multiple choice or true or false questions. Um, unlimited attempts means just do it as many times as you want. They're worth five points each. So I suggest you just do them over and over again until you get them all right, because those are the types of questions you're going to see on the exam. Um, and the exams cover an entire unit. Right. And those you only get one chance, 60 minutes. And that is the bulk of where you're getting your grades from in this class are taking your exams for each unit. OK, these are closed book, no help, no resources. You're not surfing the Internet with another with a different um, in a different tab while you're taking these quizzes um, or these exams. And then the disease report, which we'll talk about towards the end, is also worth 50 points. It's big. It's instead of taking a cumulative final, it's doing a little project. So class participation, you can read all this stuff. I do not accept late work. If you have a late assignment, I'm sorry, it is not going to be accepted. If you know ahead of time that you're gonna need some accommodations, please email me. All right. My grading is here. Here's a little list, a little table of all the different types of assignments in the class how much they're worth. So there's a total of 350 points in this class. So last bit of thing here is the course calendar. And to sort of get the flow of it, quizzes and unit exams are the two assignments that you're going to be doing basically every week, a quiz or a quiz and an exam. Okay. So quizzes always open up on a Monday at 9 a.m. and they're due three days later by 5 p.m. Those are the 10 point or the 10 questions where you can just do un unlimited attempts until you get it right, right? And then right as soon as the quiz closes, usually on the second week. So every, every week is, or every unit is basically divided into two weeks. And the end of the second week is when you have your exam for that unit. So usually the second quiz of it, as soon as that closes, a unit exam opens up. So there's two quizzes to prep you pretty much for each unit exam. Okay, so the unit exam will open up as soon as that quiz closes at 5 p.m. on Thursday, and then it stays open until Sunday night, three days later at midnight. So you've got the whole weekend, Friday night and the weekend, to do those unit exams, okay? And then here's the course calendar, right? Week by week, what unit and what's in it, right? So for instance, the first two weeks, that's unit one that covers lymphatics, immunity, and the infectious diseases, not all of them. This is not uh, pathophysiology, but we're going to be talking about some like super, super common and really sort of like bird's eye view, like 10,000 feet up. What is going on with this? Um, unit two is digestive system and nutrition. Um, unit three, respiratory system. Unit four is urinary system. And unit five is reproductive systems, as well as prenatal growth and development. So like like during embryonic development, and we sort of leave it there. Um, there is not, as you know, because you've taken HP 150, this is not a full-on anatomy and physiology class. So please do not expect the depth of information to be like that. I'm not testing you as if it's a full a &P class. So let's get back to, yeah, here we go. So we're back to the Moodle page. I wanted to show you a few things. So again, every unit, every every week's unit is gonna look something like this. It's gonna have a tab that says readings. And all of these are the different readings that you need to do for that week. Every single one of these. Some weeks are more than this, some weeks are less, but I want you to see how this works. So I'm gonna just click one of these. Wait a second. And this will work on a, a laptop or a tablet or, or a, our smartphone, I should say probably a tablet too, but the reading is right here embedded in Moodle, right? So then you can just read it. And this is really cool. Um, I took a long time to looking around at the different options for textbooks. This is actually a high school AP biology textbook. And so it covers 
all of human biology. So it covers a bunch of different chapters that we don't even cover here if you were to go to the full on textbook. Um, but the information is presented in a great way for students to really understand. And there's a lot of case studies and it's not like really dry science techie that a lot of textbooks are. So when I'm done reading that, I'm just gonna go and click the next one and basically so on and read through those. If I wanted to, I could also click on the guided notes and it basically has a PDF that you can download. Um, I think you might be able to edit it. I think, well, it's a PDF. So no, if it's a PDF, you can't edit it unless you have some software to edit it. You can also open it up on Google Drive and then you can edit it, I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, just print it out and you know fill it in by hand as you are reading the chapters and fill it out that way. I also have, but the guided notes, again, those are totally optional. You don't have to do those. Please don't turn them in. The, the video lectures also totally optional. You don't have to turn those in, but it's just me talking on a YouTube channel or a YouTube video about all the stuff in this unit. And then for each week, you've got the quiz. So for instance, assignment for week one, because on the calendar, the first week, there's no exam. It's just a quiz. So here would be that quiz. And it opens up uh, Monday, April 1st at 9 a.m. closes three days later, Thursday, April 4th at 5 p.m. So you know when it's open, when it's closed. And then you've got another week until you do quiz two. And then unit exam one. So basically that's how the first unit works. And then every unit after that is exactly the same. Right, so you can expect the same format. Okay, I've set it up like that. I'm sort of a neat freak when it comes to like formatting. I just want things to kind of look the same. You'll notice that in weeks, anything after week one, you're not gonna see the assignments because on a week to week basis, I'm creating those quizzes and exams. So once unit two opens up, then you'll see the quizzes and exams for unit two. But this will allow you, for those of you who like to read ahead, is you can access all of the different readings and the guided notes and the lecture recordings if you want for any of the, the term, right? So you can get started. I just don't want you doing your quizzes or exams ahead of time, okay? Now to talk about the last two things, the introduction post, um, which I think is super fun, is a way for me to figure out who's in this class. It lets me see your face, lets me hear your voice, it lets you practice talking in front of other people, and it's gonna allow other students in the class to see who they're, who they're taking the class with. Um, a lot of people meet here for the first time and then end up working together in a different program, like you know, medical assistant or HIM or PTA or whatever it is. Um, so this is due by the end of the first week too, the exact same time as your syllabus quiz, okay? This is also worth points, so please do this. There's two different options. And by the way, just so you understand what I'm doing here, this is basically a forum post, but I don't want you typing. I want you actually recording yourself so I can see you and I can hear you. So to do that, I'm using this app or this website called Flipgrid, which is super, super cool and really easy to use. So if you are going to be using the computer, just click here on the webcam option. If you're using a smartphone, like a lot of people just want to record themselves on a smartphone, like they're just recording any video, just scan that QR code and it'll pull it up, right? So I'm going to use the webcam option, click here. It's going to have you sign in, just sign in with your Google account for your Gmail, for your um, Lane account. And then, um, yeah, this is sort of the blurb, right? It's welcome to this, the class. I want to get to know you in two minutes or less. I want you to say your name, why you're taking this class, if it's a prereq for something, or if you just needed to spend some money. Um, and then your best human body related pun, if you can. And I don't want you to watch some other people's and then say what somebody else's pun was that you liked the best. Like what was somebody else's? Unless you're the first person to post because then you obviously didn't watch anybody else's. Um, but just click this, play, and you'll hear all that. Hey everyone, welcome to the introductions. Boom. That was from me when I posted that. I, I recorded this originally, what, a couple of years ago. Um, and I just reused the same like intro video. So when you're ready to do yours, just hit that record button and say that, right? Your name, why you're taking this class, a little human body related pun. You might have to Google one and then somebody else's. Okay, that way I can see you and everybody else can see you and we can see who's in this class. So that's pretty straightforward. The beauty of that is that when we do our final project, which is called this disease report, you can open this last page up. 
we're going to be using the exact same website, Flipgrid. To do that, um, you can, again, you can just hit the webcam option or you can use the smartphone scan. But what this is, is a, it's a report that you're going to do, but then you're not going to like submit a typed thing. You're just going to do a video recording of you talking about this report. So to do that first thing, and then by the way, this is not due until finals week. Obviously, please start it sooner than that. <laughs> but step one, read the instructions. So I'm going to click that and it's going to take me to this page, which says what it is, disease report. You're going to prepare and submit a video recording discussing a disease or a disorder of the body. You get to choose whatever it is. I just need you to hit these talking points. The etiology, which means what causes the disease. It could be unknown. Maybe it's an autoimmune disease. Maybe it's some sort of bacterial disease. But you do the research. The population affected, signs and symptoms, the treatment. One interesting fact. And here's a grading rubric, okay? So it's worth 50 points. So that's the, that's the um, instructions for it. When you figure out, okay, cool. I want to do mine on, oh, I don't know. What do I want to do mine on? Hit the sign up here and figure out where you're going to, um, or what you're going to do, right? So just type your name in here. This is a Google doc that everybody can edit. Just click here, type your name, choose whatever disease or disorder you want. Here's a whole list of like, freebies like just choose any of these if you have no idea or just google another one and yeah that's it just name go ahead and type in which disease or disorder you want to choose and that way nobody else does the same one as you okay and so once you've done that once you've signed up for your topic and you've basically created um what you're going to do then it's time for you to do your recording i suggest doing this on your phone or your, your video or to a friend before recording to practice. But I want you basically to be reading off that sort of report to the camera as if you are talking to a patient or a client, right? So again, the introduction post and this, you're using Flipgrid, which is this video recording because I want students to actually practice speaking to people and not just typing into a computer. Um, these two are exact links to what is up in here, instructions and sign up. So I won't keep you any longer because I've kept you long enough. You're probably falling asleep. Um, I'll stop sharing. Thank you for your time. Email me if you have any questions. Otherwise, please get started reading and don't forget to do your two assignments by Friday at 5 p.m., which is a syllabus quiz and the introduction post. All right, cool. Have a good day. Bye.